Hello guys, uh, in today's video, uh, this will be my first tutorial ever. It will be about how to edit like um, the amazing photographer Caleb. Uh, this is his Instagram account. He is actually uh, famous on Instagram. Uh, probably you guys know him. Last time I edit, I made this photo and a lot of you guys asked me how to how i did it uh, so today i'll be showing you guys how to edit like this photo actually i took the idea from uh, caleb today's photo i will be editing a photo like this one um, here it is this is the before and this is the after so i will just be giving you like a quick tutorial on how to edit uh, like these photos But it will not be a detailed um, Tutorial because this will take a lot of time. So let's get it started uh, This photo uh, We will start with something like this and we want to reach something like this In this photo we will start with adding uh, some jellyfishes uh, The jellyfishes I got from the internet are these two um, I will leave uh, the links in the description under the video if you want to download it guys so I will start with adding these jellyfishes which I actually did and uh, this one is from this and then uh, I added I took some of these uh, jellyfishes and I put them as a background then I just added a little more in the foreground. Now what we want to do is to understand this photo. This photo is like we have the subject, we have background, we have foreground. The subject himself is in focus. Uh, however, as you can see in the background, it's uh, blurred. So we want to do the same for the jellyfishes to make it look more real. Actually not real because this, uh, this is manipulation but to make it uh, look more right uh, more correct so what we will do is um, we will keep this one in focus however uh, the ones in the background we will increase uh, put some Gaussian, uh, Gaussian blur to it to make it look uh, more blurry we have this also here in the foreground we'll do the same and we'll add like more Gaussian blur to it so that uh, this will give like more depth to the photo here what I did is that I uh, decreased the brightness of certain areas as you can see before and after then I increased some brightness on his face on the subject's face and this brightness is uh, as if the jellyfish is uh, exposing some light onto his face and what we can do next is that we can increase the brightness of the jellyfish uh, the jellyfishes as you can see here increase the brightness i will show you one and you guys can uh, do it for the rest what we can do here for example for this jellyfish if you want to increase the brightness <coughs> then we will come here and uh, click on brightness contrast will increase the brightness but as you can see it's increasing uh, the brightness of the of the whole photo to make it just affect this uh, one we will click on this button right here this means that this adjustment layer which is brightness uh, will affect just the layer um, before it or under it so as you can see it's just affecting this uh, jellyfish we increase the brightness for it we'll do the same for the others as you can see it's easy nothing uh, hard until now i think then we'll increase the brightness of the one in the foreground <clears throat> after that what we can do is we will do this blue uh, add this blue tone to the photo which we can do it by adding a photo filter the photo filter is let me just do it again so that you guys can see it 
you will come here click on photo filter and you will see the calling filter this one i think it's uh, the best choice for this photo i increased to something um, about 60 or something as you can see it's uh, now cooler we then can increase add uh, a curve adjustment layer from here and this will as you can see we can affect uh, the whole photo we'll increase the highlights and decrease a little bit in the shadows we can uh, do some fade in the dark in the blacks and i think this is this here is good we can add more tweaking and um, for example you can increase the brightness again we can come here to the white click on the white click ctrl i this means that um, the black means that the adjustment layer is not affecting when it's white it means that um, it's affecting this white part so for example we come here and we color we just brushed here with the white as you can see it's affecting this part before and after as you can see there is an increase in the brightness here let me just remove it now what we want to do is we want to increase the brightness <clears throat> to his face for example so we can come here and increase the brightness on his face can increase also here because of this jellyfish fish it's exposing light to his um, clothes these areas If you feel like this is uh, more than what you want, you can come here and just uh, decrease the effect of this photo, of this adjustment layer, excuse me. Doing further uh, tweaks and editing, uh, you can just reach something like this. Which, uh, if you compare it with this photo, it looks somewhat similar or oh, what i did more is that i increased i i added a little more um photo filter to make it look cooler and i increased some brightness on his face and i increased some of the shadows also to make it look darker i added some magenta and blue to his to the whole photo so guys, uh, this is how to edit these type of photos. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I know it's quick and it's not uh, detailed, but as I said, it's my first tutorial. And um, if you guys want to see more detailed uh, tutorials, you can let me know by leaving a comment. Here is uh, Caleb's account. You can follow him also. I am a photographer and this is my uh, Instagram account you can see uh, my work and you can leave me a message or something if you have any questions uh, I will leave my link on the description below the video if you want to go and follow me on Instagram you can also watch um, my other YouTube videos uh, they are more like vlogs and travel videos if you would like to see them go and watch them I hope you guys liked this video don't uh, forget to put like if you like the video and uh, put a comment if you need if you have any questions uh, please let me know and see you guys in another video